stepping back out there in life. Stepping back out there in life. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Brienne. I don't give advice, suggestions, or information. I just share with you my perspective on different topics, as is with this one. I hope you like, share, subscribe to all five of my channels. Links are pinned to the top of the comment section below. And if you connect with me, I will likely connect back with you with all five. So I wanted to talk today about getting back out there in life. And I'm going to share my own personal journey and my own personal story. As many of you know, I've been married around 30 years and my life has been based around my husband and being a couple. As you all know, I've been a mom for nearly 25 years and um, it's my life has been a, a based around having children and raising children and being a mom. My image has been tied with being a mom and a wife. And so I'm used to seeing the three car seats in a row in the back of my expedition when I had an expedition and being a mom everywhere I went. I had my kids with me really until recently. And so I got to thinking about how we can get caught up into a role and lose our individual identity. And I've been wife, I've been mom, I've been a lot of things. And often in those lot of different scenarios, we can lose ourselves. Now, I've always had my own interests, my own things that I do. Um, you know, I'm an artist, I'm a writer, I'm a painter. I'm, um, uh, I, I go to college full time. Um, and I do, and I exercise every day and I run five miles a day and I have many friends. I'm a YouTuber. I have so much going on. And yet, Something interesting about me is that when I get out there, um, uh, I'm so used to being with my husband. I'm so used to being with my kids that it feels strange to go do something by myself. And I'm tempted to call up a friend and say, hey, let's go do lunch together rather than me go out to lunch by myself. So what I'm working on personally, it's a personal goal of mine, is to do things by myself. That doesn't mean that I'm not going to include other people in my life. It doesn't mean that I'm not going to invite friends. It doesn't mean that I'm not going to bring in my kids to do things with me. Um, it doesn't mean that I'm not going to include my husband, of course. You know, of course, we're a couple. And it means that a part of me needs to be an individual, to be confident in who I am, to go to a movie by myself, which I do on occasion, or to go out to a restaurant by myself, which I don't do very often. I'm usually out with other people, but now I'm making an effort to do it by myself, to go by myself. As you all know, I love bar food. I think bar food is some of the best food ever. And so I specialize in bar food. And yet I'm always with my husband, or I'm always with friends, or I'm always with family. And, um, and I don't drink, so, you know, obviously I go there to eat. But I'm not saying that I'm going to go sit at a bar by myself, but I might go to the grocery store, which has a bar area, which has tables in it, and sit down and have a nice meal. And so what I'm trying to do is be independent as well as be dependent, because I think relationships are dependent. You know, if we want a relationship, there is interaction there. We do things together. And of course, I want to do things with my family. I want to do things with my husband. I want to do things with my friends. But I also want to feel confident in doing things by myself, going to movies by myself, going to restaurants by myself, going out and about by myself, rather than always having someone tag along with me or rather than me tagging along with someone else. Sometimes there is um, um, a confidence in knowing that you're gonna do it by yourself. So I do a lot of things independently by choice. Just like you all know, I drive back and forth to our beach house, which is a six hour drive. I purposefully did that independently with no one else in the car because it had been like 30 years since I had really essentially driven anywhere without my husband or my kids. So now I try to go to our beach house um, and, and drive by myself in a separate car so that I can feel that confidence once again. And so that was a big deal for me to do that. That was really stepping out. I mean, I remember I was so scared. I cried before I left. I was like, oh, can I really do this? Can I really do this? I haven't been that long of a trip by myself locally, of course, but you know, a six hour drive by myself. I was always with my husband or always had the kids with me. And so now I was doing it by myself and I was so proud of myself 
once I made it there and back and it was like, yay, I did it, I did it independently. So I think a lot of women and maybe some men over the age of 60 often feel, um, you know, they just want to hide because maybe they feel like their kids are grown and their spouse maybe has passed on or whatever the situation may be or has a career and they're not always there. And so a lot of people just stay and hide. They don't get out there. They just wait on someone to kind of pull them out or go with them or tag along or whatever. But sometimes we got to just make ourselves get out there and do things independently. Okay. Well, I don't give advice or suggestions as you well know. I just share with you my perspective and I do hope you like, share, subscribe. So from my house to yours, may God bless you. And I hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye.